Hey dudes and dudettes, I hope you're doing well today. As you all know now, I have a series that I have been launching some time ago, which is How Smart It's X Character. Adler was one really received in this series, so now I want to do another one, but this time of his arch rival. But I won't limit myself to Call of Duty characters, so if you like, subscribe to this channel and comment for another character you want to see analyzed. I will do it with a lot of pleasure. Well, with nothing else to talk about, let's talk about the mad genius responsible for being the major threat and antagonist in all the seasons in Cold War. The monster, Victor Cosman, alias Stitch. Kill the rest. Adler is mine. Now you all know how this works in the channel. We will analyze this character using my knowledge as a teacher to determine if some fictional character is smart or not. Or better said, no general idea of how smart this character is. Again, we'll use the multiple intelligences theory to investigate Stitch's intelligence. First of all, let's see his story. Born on August the 14th of 1938 in Moscow, Victor Kosman graduated from the Faculty of Technology of Organic Substances and Pharmaceutical Chemistry of the Mendeleev Institute of Chemical Technology in 1959. He joined the Operations and Technology Directorate of the KGB the same year and was assigned to the Laboratory 12 R&D facility. Six years later, Kosman was assigned to manage production facilities on Rebirth Island and reported directly to Colonel Lepkranchenko. In 1968, Kusman was captured and interrogated by the CIA at the raid on the Rebirth Island facility. Interrogated by Russell Adler, Kusman lost an eye but divulged only his name and rank. He was retrieved by Kravchenko who stripped him of his rank for failing to repel the CIA operation and sent him to the Petropavlovsk Gulag. Two years later, after arriving in the Gulag, Kosman was contacted by Perseus, who found him a broken man questioning his loyalties to a state that had betrayed him. Driven by hatred for both Adler and Kravchenko, Kosman was receptive to Perseus' version of Greater Russia. His first-hand knowledge of Nova 6 was deemed invaluable in achieving Perseus' goals. In 1976, a small team of operatives launched an attack on the prison, leaving many guards and prisoners dead. In the aftermath, Kosman was reported missing. After breaking free from the Gulag, Kosman continued to work with Perseus, making use of his Project Nova knowledge. Bowing revenge on Adler, Kosman leads a small team of Perseus soldiers to raid a CIA safe house in West Berlin, Germany. There, he leaves a flyer for Adler to later find, leading him to the mall at the Pines in New Jersey. On January 21st, 1984, Adler conducts an uh, operation at the mall where he discovers Nova 6 being manufactured and stored. Just as this discovery is made, Cosman's soldiers reveal themselves from their hiding places, cornering Adler's team in a standoff. Cosman himself appears from within an elevator commands his soldiers to kill everyone except for Adler, who he plans on handling personally. A gunfight emerges in the mall, and Adler is captured by Stitch and transported away by helicopter. Three months later, on April the 19th of 1984, a rescue team led by Frank Woods arrive in Laos in an attempt to fight Adler. Naga, another Perseus operative, informed Stitch that Adler was secure and headed to him in Berdansk. Stitch then ordered Naga to make the team believe they care about their Nova 6 supply lines. Now, on June the 2nd, Stitch orders Freya, Rafe, Helvig, and Roman Knight Grey to infiltrate a base in Mount Jamantau and recover the numbers data gathered by Nikita Dragovich. After being contacted by Ray, Stitch informs her that his work with Adler is almost complete and that what Perseus does in Berdansk will be a way for a greater Russia at the base on Yamantown is nuke. And this is everything that we know so far about this character. 
Stitch is a biochemist. A biochemist is someone that has studies of biology, chemistry, and physics as part of his required fields of knowledge so he may use for his profession. Biochemists regularly studies in laboratories the effects that process food or drugs made when they are consumed by humans. Hence, Stitch was used for this knowledge to study the effects of a biochemical weapon in order to be stabilized and be used as a legitimate weapon. Normally, you need four to six years of college career to be a certified biochemist. He's a prodigy at this level, being a biochemist in his formation, he's able to composing complex formulas to stabilize something that would be the deadly Nova 6 bioweapon. He has shown to have a basic knowledge of the cartography and navigation using the traditional latitude-longitude system. So, he's able to this intelligence. Knowing the angles and whereabouts of the places he may infiltrate or siege, he is able of making a strategy basing on the gaze of an architect's drawing, just like he did to capture Adler for his brainwashing supposedly in season 1. So he's able of this intelligence. In a part of his life, Stitch was captured and deemed traitor of Mother Russia and he was sent to the worst prison of Russia. The Gulag. In this place, he has hardened physically and many of his attributes shown him to be more than average since the beginning of his introduction in the season. He's capable of using and being strong enough to withstand torture that made him lose his left eye, survive beating from other Gulag prisoners and be able to defend himself in harsh environments. He's able at this intelligence. For the moment, he hasn't shown any trait of this intelligence. Still, it can be implied by his profession having basic knowledge of biology, so it counts for this analysis. Linguistically, Stitch is far from average in this intelligence. He's able of speaking Ru English and Russian, so he's able of this intelligence. For the moment, he hasn't shown any trait of this intelligence, so it, this doesn't count for the top. Intrapersonally, he is someone that has shown that has an alter personality in order to cope with his trauma that has passed in his prison time. He doesn't seem in trusting completely in everyone and prefer to stay to himself without sharing his introspection in all the seasons of the game. So he's not able to this intelligence. Now in the other side of the coin, he's someone that does not trust in no one because of his experience with old peers that have betrayed him like Kravchenko. So because of this, he doesn't even try to understand others and sees the others as parts for his plan. And because of this, he doesn't even have empathy towards no one. He's not able to this intelligence. Now, uh, the final rank for this analysis is 5 Ables. 1 non counting and 2 not Ables. The final rank is one of a mad genius. Someone that really is far from average with his scientific knowledge and capacity of being a soldier at the same time. But throughout the story, he is someone that being enclosed in this environment is someone that doesn't feel comfortable psychologically and that has an alter ego to cope with trauma. So in part, he is unstable but maintains logical thinking to not be broken at the same time making his vengeance true against his rival, Russell Adler. Hey, thanks for watching this video, my dudes and dudettes, and sorry for not being able to post videos any further. I'm right now on my college finals and I don't have much time for anything else. But hey, how about I do more edits and continue now with a personal project that I hope that you will all love with my new second channel, Shaggy Ape. Please be sure of following the channel since I did it to repost my edit videos since I have received copyright strikes and I want to avoid this situation as soon as possible.
it's scary, but that does not stop me to keep offering content, so wait for more. Well, with nothing else to add, I bid farewell dudes and dudettes, classes dispatch, class out, shacks out. Put a nigga back to the record, baby, and give me this shit right now.